Okay, I've got a question, period. <laughs> What's your take on truly dis- on the truly despicable serial killers, Hitler, etc.? Now, I did, I did address this in an earlier video on the channel, um, but I'm not ex- actually sure what the title of that is because it was, a, it was brought up in a different topic. But um, I believe that God is love. And I believe we come to this physical plane to experience that separation so we can come to low God slash love fuller. And I think we do that through our own own fears, through fear. And fear is the opposite of love. And I think people like Hitler, like Jeffrey Dahmer, you know, serial killers, and you know, some other people, um, I think they literally are lost in their fear but the majority of their, their manifestation of that being lost in fear is their striving for power because they have mistaken power for love. You know, you feel powerful because you don't feel loved, right? So you've, you've, you've become addicted to power in some form. And when you become addicted to power, you start doing things that are very fear, fearful to others to create. Now... What's my take on them? Are they going to be punished and blah, 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 and all that? You know, and, and are they going to burn in hell? Well, as you know, I don't believe in hell. Um, I don't believe in a devil. What I do believe in is crossing over to the other side and, and getting that life review. And, and the reason I think you get that life review is because you, you come to all knowledge of every, everything and everyone. And so you're going to have the review in some form because you're going to suddenly know it all, all the things that are that that you did, and they felt. Now the people who've had near death experiences, who have had that experience of that life review, one of the things that they are most uh, adamant about is that they, in the life review, they felt their interactions from the point of view of the person. They were interacting with, so they were, they were getting the feeling of what they were giving. So people like Hitler, and Dahmer, and and all these other serial killers, and you know people who are uh, addicted to power. When they cr- cross over, they're going to fully experience the emotions of everyone they've harmed. And you think about somebody like Hitler. They're gonna. I mean, is if that's not the worst punishment you could possibly imagine, experiencing all of the fear, pain, and anxiety that you inflicted, and being someone like Hitler, you know, that's huge. That's huge, right? Um, but I think that they're lost in fear. I think that they're they're in a state where they don't fully understand the damage that they do. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. It's all about power and money, and that is that is the same exact stuff that's lost in fear. You know, you look at, you know, this morning on the news, I was watching the white supremacists in Florida out there um, promoting their hate and their fear, and they're lost in their fear. They they want the power over people of other races. Because they think it's it's their, they they don't understand love, they only understand understand fear and power, and so that's where they are. Then that and when they cross over, they're going to experience all that hate and anger and fear that they inflicted on others. They're going to feel every bit of it. So they are creating their own hell, and they are creating no heaven. And so. I believe when they cross over, they're going to experience the full range of their hate and their fears and their anxieties and all the things that they've reaped into the world. And then they're, I believe, truly, that they are going to come back to realizing what it's supposed to be. And 
they're going to have the full awareness of what they where they went wrong and all and they're going to learn a lesson right um the idea of them burning in hell forever is a very earth-based retribution it's not loving it's the most loving thing you would want for anybody is to learn from their mistakes and you know grow and i think that even these these serial killers and hitler etc as you said that's etc um I think I think all of them are going to go over and experience all of the things that they've reaped, and then they're going to go, oh, oh, now I see what it was supposed to be. And that is my thought on that. And, you know, do, do I like them in the world? No. Would I want them living next door? Absolutely not. So <laughs> that's my thought on them. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.